All right, welcome back. Or welcome for the first time. Continuing on our journey along the Bedford section of the Buckeye Trail, going northbound. We're here at A.B. Williams Memorial Woods. Picnic area, parking lot in the North Chagrin Reservation. In some city in Ohio, I don't remember which one we're in, I'll list it below. About 38 degrees and I think it just might be raining up here, what do you think? So you can see there's a ton of parking over here, which is nice, of course. Uh, daylight today, you don't have a very many, uh, <laughs> very many visitors, I don't think, but that's fine with me, hey. So we're going to pick up the trail right behind this blue car, which I think there's somebody in it. So we're going to think we're going to talk to them. Oh, I swear we're not. We're just out here talking to ourselves. The goal for today is to make it to the next parking area, which is about a mile away. Horse trailer parking. So it shouldn't be too long of a hike. Of course, right now we're going in a totally wrong direction, but we do need to pick up the trail, right? No avoiding the mud today. So we got our little connector trail. I don't know, I looked at the map, so I know pretty much which way we're going, but I don't, I didn't pay attention to the elevation change. But I have a feeling, just a hunch, that it's gonna be mostly downhill. So there's your list of stuff around here. We're not going to any of those. So we have an intersection. Clearly we want to stay on the Buckeye Trail, which appears to be this way. Oh, here we go. Horse trailer parking, 1.1 miles. See, I wasn't lying to you, about a mile away. So you see all these puddles, at least in this section here, it's. There's puddles, but it's awfully hard ground underneath. I don't know if it's frozen or just the type of whatever they laid down on this track. That's a little weird. Over here now, I think that's all mud, mud. But this light colored stuff, not bad at all. So 1.1 miles away, I would say we'd be there about a half hour, right? Probably a little less. So it all depends on how many wrong turns we take, which I'm known to take. Earlier today it was sleeting, I guess you would say. Not snow, not rain, but but according to the weatherman, it's going to be rain the rest of the day. frog in my throat. Well, something's up there making noise. I don't know if it's a bird or 
chip marker. Who knows what it was? Yeah, it's a little wet out here. Wet and icy. Not icy, but slushy. Hear that? Feels like... It's only the storm's coming. Just that 40 mile an hour winds. And I haven't really noticed the wind at all today. So I guess that means it's on its way. The sign back there said 0.92 to the horse trailer parking. So. We're making progress. It's an awfully exact measurement. Yeah, we got a little downhill section going, which is nice. A big old rock coming up, the plaque on it. I'll have to check it out. First park, 1930. Our first park natu naturalist. Arthur Baldwin Williams. I guess that's A.B. Williams. There you go. Just pause it if you need to. Hey, a couple benches here. Take a break. I can wipe you off here. And then back down here, make a left. Back on the trail. Spotify's been acting goofy with me today. He's playing the same songs over and over. They're not terrible songs, but I don't need to hear the same song every other song. No, 
Uh, we got a steady downhill section. Got a good pace going. Any steeper would be more difficult than enjoyable, but at this at this uh, angle, it's ideal for making up some ground. A lot of intersections, but also a lot of signs at these intersections, which is nice. Three quarters of a mile to our destination. Got a little section of pine trees going here. I was thinking about showing you, showing you the upward angle at them, but I know all that's going to do is collect raindrops on the lens. Look at this, two blue blazes. That's the way the trail goes, though. So this is strange. What's this telling you? Hey, okay, take a look over here. Check out this view. It's strange, isn't it? Maybe they're like, you gotta cut these things down before they fall down. Maybe that's what it means. Oh, there's more down there too. I wonder what they mark under. All over the place, wow. Huh. I don't know what that means. They're not blue blazes, it's more words they're blue dots. Now the rain's hitting me in the face, which means it's probably hitting you in the in the lens. You know, we turn the corner here, I'll wipe you off again. Rain makes everything more difficult. There's a trail that goes down there. I wonder if we'll end up there. Yep, I see a blue blaze down there, so. Yeah, here's that wind. Now it's getting chilly. Down, down, down we go. As promised, let me wipe the camera off. All right, I hope I made it better, not worse. Back to it. Deep section here. Yeah, I don't know 
if you could hear that wind. You can't really, you don't feel it, but you could hear it on the top of the trees. Like, it's really blowing. Almost well, sounds like a freight train off in the distance. Here on the right side now. Maybe because we're down here in the valley, it doesn't affect us very much. Looks like we're done with that steep section for the time being. Nice relatively flat section now. Oh, stranger danger coming up. Hello. What do you have in your backpack? Oh, uh, winter coat, rain jacket. Are you spending the night out? No, no. <laughs> just preparing for backpacking season. Cool. Yeah. Spend the night out here, not allowed. It's a shame you're not, but now we're getting down to definitely a couple roads down there. Seems like it's too far away to be our uh, parking lot. What do I have in my backpack? A bunch of camera stuff. Winter coat, winter gloves, two bottles of water, raincoat, this first aid kit, hand warmers, protein bar. That's about it. Definitely notice it, but it's nowhere near as happy as it is when I go backpacking. Alright, looks like we're crossing a road. <clears throat> I don't recall that being on the map, but <clears throat> here it is. field over here. Oh, horse trailer parking, 3.3 mi miles. So that's uh, that's, quite, that's closer than I thought we were. You see, uh, that's probably that guy with the dog's car. He parked over there. There's little small spots you could park along the side of the road here and there. But for what I do, make videos, Ideally, I want a large parking lot, so I hate to go off for the next video and be like, oh man, there's nowhere to park. Now what do I do? You know what I mean? A 
wet down here. We're down in the lowlands. So I'll tell you right now, the next, I might have already told you, <laughs> these videos tend, tend to run together. The next video will be uh, the Buckeye Trail goes along the road, the whole, uh, it's about seven miles. So next video after this one will be in the car. Because when I go hiking, I'd rather walk through the woods, walk on a trail, than walk alongside of a road. I can walk alongside of any road, you know, if you're looking to walk alongside of the road, there's probably plenty of videos out there where you can do that. Watch that happen. Of course, there's probably plenty of driving videos too. But, uh, what do you want? Eh, it seems like the rain has let up a little bit. So I see a clearing up ahead. Looks like I can see the top, the white part of the porta potty. So I think that might be our horse trailer parking area. Yeah, just a couple light drizzle now, not too much rain coming down, so I'll take it. A little chilly today, but before we know it, it'll be July and August and we can find how hot it is, so I guess just be thankful that I'm able to get out here and do it. All right, so you got porta potty, obviously, a couple picnic tables. 
big parking lot. Buckle, 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 trail continues. I'll show you which way. Instead of right here. So beautiful, huge parking lot, but what they don't tell you is horse trailer parking only. So what you want to do is leave here and go straight across the road there. And I don't know, 500,000 feet down, there's a parking lot on the right. Doesn't hold a lot of cars, but you'll probably be fine. So uh, that's where we'll end today. Like I said, the next one will be in the car. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanted, if you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe. It'll let you know. I'll try to do better next time. See you later.